Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your 72 hour love and finance reading. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Um, all links are below of how to reach me, how to get your own 72 hour energy reading. Um, the link is below. Also take advantage of the 30 minute phone reading that is on sale. Okay, so let's get into it. So at the bottom of the deck for love, we actually have the star card. So some of you are finding um, that you're on the right path. Self-acceptance, um, renewal, healing, healing from the past, healing past life, healing situation um, in regards to self choices you made or haven't made or you felt like were made for you you could be dealing with an Aquarius it's just happy times you're making long-term plans here in regards to self and being on the right path maybe there was course correction here and it's for some of you so let's see what it's about the high priestess the six of water the ten of earth, wow, and the eight of water. So this is a cancer who feels like this is, could be some male energy uh, either coming toward my female cancers or it could be same sex. But there's a male energy uh, here who may feel like there's a relationship from the past or, or something that has history, something that the, the cancer is going over. In their mind in their heart that this relationship um, it was healthy or it, it, it had or it fit in their life there was health and fitness within a particular dynamic the cancer is coming to some type of balance or resolve that may be going back or at least reliving once again romanticizing the past reliving this relationship in some manner whether it's you know bringing it to realization or it's um just reliving it in your in 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 your emotions in your heart in your mind with a particular person could be an aquarius person um the cancer is just at a place of uh finding that this relationship had a lot of balance that it fit in their life there's a sense of usefulness here within this this dynamic. They felt useful. This person that they dealt with or or are still dealing with is useful. The cancer also feels useful. Uh, the high priestess says that maybe this was a situation where there needed to be some pre-planning and there was none. This is a situation where in order to bring this to realization someone has to be uh completely aware of themselves spiritually this might have been someone trying to usher you into a new way of living a new way of existing cancer or you them this was someone who feared committing to this position maybe because cancer you or maybe a, the other person was already involved in a relationship here a marriage a long-standing relationship where maybe hidden person the high priestess decided to bow out and do nothing in regards to bringing this forward or, or continuing the relationship um cancer i'm hearing that you felt like this person just left they couldn't commit to not not seeing the plan so this person may have left you the high priestess could be piscean could be once again we got aquarius coming up um this person left there might be distance between you two there might not even be a lot of communication this person left because they couldn't see where this was going excuse me they can see where this was going to work out well for them they couldn't commit to something that they had no foresight 
on or in. What what the cards are telling me is a ten of earth. What you saw with them was a, a really stable and happy home. Financial security that you guys can make magic together. Whatever that is for you, Cancer. You might be at a place, Eight of Water or Eight of Cups, where you're wanting to walk away from maybe this position. You may already be in the Ten of Earth. Some commitment. Um, it's just a desire to move on. You're searching. You're in search of. And you see that with the star card at the bottom of the deck. Because you found some type of resolve. Like this is real spiritual. It's almost as, as if spirit spoke to you in regards to where you're supposed to be or with who. Now, I'll say this. This is how you feel. This is what you want to do. Your emotions are stirred in regards to maybe walking back toward maybe a past love. Someone who you feel is a soulmate. Someone who you're separated from. Someone who's doing nothing to bring this to, you know, realization to the, the, its culmination. Maybe because you're already in a specific union. Right? Um, that So you want to walk back towards them. But there are no action cards here. There's not even communication. There's no offer. There's no pages. There's no... Uh, nights. This is just the cancer. The, the, the emotions are stirred. Um, things have bubbled to the surface. Alright, so let's see what the shells have to say. Great body. Maybe you feel like someone has a really great body. You think about their body. Help. You do have help here. Because I, I really feel like this is a situation where either cancer is dealing with someone who's stuck and they need help or cancer is stuck. Uh, we have change. Yeah, you're wanting change. Like I just said, but doing nothing. Lies. Maybe you're resting in lies. Maybe you've lied to yourself long enough. Maybe someone is lying to you. Hate. Ooh. Maybe you hate the position you're in right now. You're wanting to be in something more spiritual. Something more connected. The, the desire to move on. Um, it says whatever you're, you're going through, whatever you're feeling, don't stop. That's the advice here. At the bottom of the deck, you have helpful people. And then you have help here. So if you're feeling like, oh, I'm stuck. No one will you know, take to my position. No one sees it how I see it. You have a lot of help here. A lot of spirit help. Definitely in a lot of... Uh, A lot of spirit help. You may even have like some helpful people around you. You need to make a decision. You're at the place of needing to make a decision. Your emotions are stirred in regards to some some union where there's a lot of obligation where you feel like you you're obligated to stay because you've merged your life with said person. You may take care of an, an entire family here. It, but there's a desire to move on from that. You want something more. You're in search of something meaningful. You found that with your high priestess here. But this person is doing nothing to move anything along. This The high priestess doesn't move. She just knows. She's very spiritual. She's very practical also. Uh, uh, she's the high priestess. You know, um, She's the, that interim between spirit and physical. She probably even knows how you feel, what you're thinking. Will she speak to you or will he speak to you? No, but do know that they know you have a desire to move away from, to walk back toward. Uh, there's an air of mystery about maybe this person that you're in separation from. You don't know much of what's going on with them or vice versa. They don't know much of what's going on with you. They, you don't know what much of what's going on with them financially 
or and, and vice versa you uh there's also a sense of um you would just want more intimacy in your life intimacy is is uh all barriers all walls all blocks removed you can tell some this person or someone or whatever some entity everything about you that's intimacy you can speak your deepest desire your deepest fear you don't have that where you are you're you're on a quest to either get that back or to find that or you've, or you've already found it okay so let's go into career and finance at the bottom of the deck you have wow the four of wands you, so it looks like you're having a really good energy and career in finance um your two butterfly oracle cards popped out and they they already are flipped over and i i think they're very funny uh we'll get to them though four of wands so there might be a need to celebrate something something came to you know in end you have ended some project or some some challenge uh, something you're more stable here in 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 some regard something about timing also and recognition here you know you're getting public recognition and things are going very well for you you're you've achieved some long term goal here something about timing you may this is like graduation from school it took some time to do that now you're getting walking across that stage you're getting that public recognition now it's time to fulfill long-term goals you are uh, out three wands looking for expansion here so this is really good energy in regards to your career and finance Let's see what the cards have to say. The Empress, yeah, maybe a mother figure was helping you. Maybe you are a mother. Maybe you're embarking on a new business, embarking on a new job. There's something that you have done the work in on, and now you'll see the culmination of it. You'll be the Emperor where you'll rest and dwell in it. No longer will you have to do the work here. The Lovers, you've made some really ultimate change in regards to what you love doing in career. You may even have married the two. You're doing what you love. Um, but whatever this is, it's going to be really good and life changing, altering for you. Four Pentacles going to take you to a new level, a new status, maybe where you you'll have money saved. You are creating a firm foundation for yourself. The Nine of Pentacles, wow, this definitely could be business, a new business, business idea. You have a business opportunity. It's just expansion altogether. There's a more independent nature about you in regards to career and finance here. Uh, you are storing up. You have the opportunity to do so. Okay, so the two Butterfly Oracle cards that popped out were finances and new career and what do we call this sector career and finance so i thought that was really cute so you, you're, you're embarking on a new career it may have taken you some time to do this finances look very abundant you're, you're doing very well this is good um at the bottom of the deck you have take the next step now whatever that may be get the certification i'm hearing uh take the next step get into some mentorship internship program where you're able to start work right after uh graduation okay so that's really good you just got good energy all together in career and finance and this is beautiful so i'm very excited for you this looks wonderful many blessings to you let's see what the shells have to say wow abundance and we know that the empress talks about abundance so you'll have that abundance of of love fulfillment home uh everything magic you made the magic happen in your life you did the work run leave maybe a dynamic of someone uh, or, or forgive run leave and forgive hmm something's hidden here uh, i miss you wow and newborn baby so we know that sometimes starting a business is like a newborn baby i don't see that there's a baby here it could be 
you may have to forgive some motherly energy or someone who is a mother something is hidden in regards to um, maybe a message not coming through you're asking for forgiveness or you want to go to like some someone is a mother you want to for you want to ask forgiveness from your mother because you chose someone else over your mother you chose something you might want to say to your mom i miss you you're keeping something hidden from the mother of i don't know guys this is that's um interesting to say the least okay so um yeah, you may be keeping something. Maybe all this new abundance and money coming in. You're keeping it away from uh, someone you're with. Someone you chose. You're cho you chose to be with. Someone that, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, get a personal reading. Um, this is really good all together, Cancer. I'm wishing you so much abundance, uh, love, and magic, okay? If you feel like you need a personal reading, you want to know if this energy is for you, um, go over to the website. Take advantage of the 30-minute phone reading or the 72-hour energy reading. Uh, just like this where I pull cards for love and romance. You do not get to ask questions. I pull cards for you, explain the cards to you. Okay, so... Thank you once again, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Bye.